Coconut is a woody plant belonging to the Aracacia family. This plant is commonly found in tropical and subtropical areas around the world. Coconut is very popular and has many different applications because it provides water, food, construction materials and many different products made from coconuts. Every year, global coconut production reaches about 75 million tons, of which about 66 million tons of coir and 9 million tons of fresh coconut. Indonesia is the leading coconut exporting country with about 19 million tons of coconut, followed by the Philippines with about 16 million tons of coconut. In terms of consumption, India is the leading coconut consumer with about 17 million tons, followed by Indonesia with about 15 million tons and Brazil with about 3 million tons. The coconut industry plays an important role in many Asian and African countries. Stay tuned to see what it contributes. First, let's learn the process of making coir rope. Coir is obtained from the fibers inside the outer shell of the coconut. The outer shell of the coconut is removed to access the inner fibrous fibers. On average, one coconut can provide from 100 to 150 grams of coir. After that, the coir fiber is separated by a machine specializing in separating coir. Once the coir fibers are obtained, they need to be washed to remove any residue or impurities. Coir fibers are treated to increase their softness and smoothness. A common farming process is to wet the coir fibers and then smooth them using mechanical tools. Treated coir fibre is cut into custom lengths and then rolled. The coir spools are then packed and prepared to be shipped or stored. Next, let's learn about dairy products made from coconut. After harvesting, the coconuts need to be transported immediately to the factory. The farmer used a boat to carry thousands of coconuts along the river to the factory. The fresh coconuts are carefully selected, the processing and cleaning are done in a hygienic way. Coconut water is cleaned and treated to remove impurities and increase safety and hygiene. This process may include filtration, aeration, heat generation and the use of other methods to remove bacteria and enhance the quality of the coconut water. After that, the coconut water mixture is put into the distillation process. This process removes the water and separates the fat from the coconut water, forming coconut milk products. Once the coconut milk is finished distilling, it goes through a pasteurization process to kill potentially harmful bacteria and prolong the product's shelf life and coconut milk is packed into packages and boxes in a dry and antibacterial environment to ensure the preservation and safety of food for users. Continuation of the video will be dry processed coconut flour. The main input to the process is the coconut. After being peeled and cleaned, it'll be scraped and milled. This factory has a daily production capacity of 10,000 kilograms of desiccated coconut powder. Coconut compound is grated and milled to form pure coconut powder. 
This process is usually carried out by scrapers and grinders, ensuring that the particle size of the powder is standard and uniform. Coconut flour after scraping and grinding will be dry to remove moisture and form a stable dry powder with low water content, usually in the range of 2 to 5%. Drying time can be from 2 to 4 hours at a temperature of about 60 to 80 degrees centigrade. After being dried, it'll be packed into suitable packages. This ensures that coconut flour is well preserved and meets hygiene and quality requirements. In front of us is an ice cream shop in Thailand. This woman has nearly 20 years of experience in making coconut ice cream. She can sell hundreds of boxes a day. <laughs> Let's see how she makes coconut ice cream. Depending on the habitat, climate, humidity and metabolism of each plant species, growers will choose the right soil for their early stages. Koya peat is the part that is separated from the shell of a coconut. This acne part is considered one of the best media for growing plants, especially seeds and seedlings. After being crushed into a powder, it'll be pumped with water to absorb evenly. Next, it's spread through a series of processing processes that will create a product called Koya peat. Just soak it in water for a while and it'll expand. Taking it to plant will ensure the best quality. It promotes growth in houseplants, tropical plants, lawns and hydroponics. It can be used in the greenhouse or in the field to improve the moisture holding capacity and aeration of the growing medium. Before ending the video, if you find this video good, please leave us a like, share and subscribe to the channel for more useful information about agriculture. See you all in the next video.